What inspired you to start cooking? When I was 10 years old, I used to watch my mom cook arroz con andule, arroz con salchicha, sancocho, y bacalaitos. All right, so what are some ingredients that you use in a Puerto Rican dish? We usually use adobo, black pepper, mojito, sofrito. The sazon that gives it the most flavor. So today we're gonna be making shrimp. So for the shrimp, can you tell me what we're gonna be using? Yes, we're gonna be using these special ingredients which are black pepper, sazon, uh, lemon, and also a special ingredient, jupina. This is my mom, she was born in Puerto Rico, and today we're gonna be doing her special dish, which is Caribbean shrimp. All right, so the first step to making shrimp is obviously cleaning them, like washing them with cold water, and that's what we already did, they're already clean. The next step is putting in some complete seasoning. So for the complete seasoning, you can put a little bit or as much as you want. We have one pound of shrimp and since we're Hispanic, we don't really use a measuring cup. All right, so the next step is putting in some sazon. So for this, we're gonna just open the pack and we're gonna start spreading it out and putting a little bit. You don't wanna, like I said, over season it. So this is sazon goya. This sazon, we're just gonna put a little bit and then put a little bit of pepper get the lemon which we previously showed and you're gonna just put a whole bunch of lemon on it and then you're gonna mix it in that's it for the seasoning portion all right so the first step is to make sure your pan is hot and you can put it on medium or you can put it on high and the next step is to butter the pan so after we put the butter in the pan you wait for it to heat up and then you can start putting your stove on medium if it's on high or if it's ready on medium, just leave it there. The next step is to pour in some shrimp into the pan. So the way you can eat this is with um, pasta, you can eat it with rice, beans, really whatever you want. Today we're gonna be eating it with rice and beans. So as you can see, the shrimp are beginning to get fully cooked. But as I said in the beginning, jupina is one of the secret ingredients. So we're not gonna add so much jupina, it's gonna be about this much, and you could just... So you're just gonna let the shrimp absorb the jupina a little bit. The shrimp are gonna have a sweet kind of taste to them, sweet, salty kind of taste to them. This is also gonna make sure that the shrimp aren't dry which we obviously wouldn't want them to be. So this is the final product. And I don't know if anybody's a big fan of beans or not, but I like black beans, pinto beans. But for this one, we're gonna have rice and black beans. And that is how you make Caribbean shrimp. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.